Hey, what's up? Rowan here, and today I'm bringing you five outside the box, unconventional ways to improve your throws. These were some of my favorite drills coming up, just trying to be creative and see what works. We're gonna start with our stability with one leg. We're gonna be on single leg throwing. We're gonna alternate left and right legs, forehand and backhand. And we're going to try to put some spin in and speed on these. We're really trying to brace the core and keep everything balanced. A lot of ultimate frisbees played on one leg and it's just really important. We can also use the backhand on one leg. That's also going to teach us to use some of this core and keep everything braced. That's how I fell off balance. Careful. Okay, another great throwing drill is to use your offhand. This is first gonna teach you to be balanced on both sides. It's gonna help the other leg develop because in ultimate, we're always stepping on the same side. And even if they're ugly throws and they're not used in games, it's still important to keep practicing. So we're gonna do some lefty flicks and lefty hammers. And if you're feeling creative, throwing some lefty scoobers is probably even easier than the lefty flick. And the lefty scoober has a ton of in-game application as well. The best drill that increased my forehand tuck was when I twisted my ankle for two weeks. I sat on a chair in my garage and threw without my lower body developing the arm snap. We don't have any chairs out here, but we're gonna sit on the ground to take away our lower body and just use our arm and wrist to drive the disc. Another great drill to kind of isolate that forehand arm drive is to hold a backhand stance and without pivoting, turn around and throw the forehand. Another thing is I found throwing this flick here makes you keep this palm up or else if it's too much forward, it blades off to the left. So again, you're across your body, palm to the sky, getting that elbow out for the throw. The best backhand drill is just really to isolate the snap. What we can do is we can go shoulder width apart and even a little bit wider and just work on snapping with our wrist. No pivot, no step. Trying to get as much spin as possible. The more we can isolate this quick throw here, the more we can use it in game for a quick release backhand, a no pivot backhand, or a half pivot backhand. Again, trying to get as much power from a standstill as possible and really emphasizing that wrist snap and spin. The last unconventional drill here is really working on getting our core and upper body involved with the backhand. We're gonna hold the disc almost straight out and we're not gonna use our wrist or our elbow we're gonna try to drive the whole thing almost with our core. And this is a vicious snap and the disc should come out wobbly and that's fine. We're not putting the spin on it. Again, this is just core twist and power. All 
All right, I recommend everyone to put some of these drills into your throwing routines. And let me know if you have any outside the box creative ways you like to throw. These aren't all used in games, but the skills we acquire from these drills can all translate to the field. Thanks. Thank you. I don't get enough of them. There you go. Yeah. No. Help time. Perfect. Oh my god, that's feel like Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah. We're we're filming this is all in video. Hey what's up? Hey what's up, Rowan here and today I'm bringing you five